Thomas a bit. 25,000 hours says he's got the air speed. The wheels come off the ground. He keeps it in ground effect and rolls it over. Upside down all the way around. The stock steerman by plane. Now we're not done with this. Watch it as it gains some altitude. The stick comes back to the front. That pulls the airplane over. Now this is an airplane that weighs about 3,000. There is nobody anywhere in the world who flies the stock steerman like John Moore does. And to get things turned around, after World War II, many of these became crop dusting airplanes, and that hammerhead to get turned around quick to do those important crop dusting duties as he gains altitude. 225 horsepower. If it was a PT-13, it was the same airframe, but with a light coming in. If it was a PT-18, it had a Jacobs, a Jacobs engine on it. But this is the PT-17 with a Continental. Now watch John Moore. He keeps it up close and personal right in front of us here as he shoves the throttle forward, dives toward the ground, gets the ears, pulls back on the stick. And over the top, tilts his head back, looks at the runway here, brings it back to the airport, and goes down to 45, throws the stick to the left, and does one half of a cubic eight maneuver. That is half of the horizontal lake in the sky. He'll do the same thing in the opposite direction. Back in 1936, the late Len Pope was performing at an air show in Miami. He was also instructing the Cuban Air Force pilots how to fly. And then he was a Unfortunately, it was too low. So rather than get in trouble, he rolled it out. And then it's the barnstorm flew that Len Pope wanted. But and so what he did, he took care of himself, and he did that all the time in the sky. When he came down, they asked him what the maneuver was, and Ocho Cubano. Out there to the right, he is one of the most talented and exciting pilots out there. With so little power, so much weight, he wants you to take this airplane through the maneuvers that many, many pilots Four-point indicating roll. He'll stop it. In night bed, inverted, go back to right night bed, and then bring her back around. He started flying at age five. He was taught by his father. He soloed at age 14. He built and blew his helicopter, first helicopter at age 17. Now, as he comes back around, He'll set it up now for the eight-point hesitation roll. Remember, not much power, but he goes one, two, stopping at every 45 degrees. There's four. that so many aerobatic airplanes have. So the airplane engine can continue to run when it's upside down. Again, the stock steerman. No, but he does it better. Now, he's done that super slow roll. He's got some altitude here. Now, we saw the Cuban in just a moment ago. Five-eighths of a loop, half a roll, same thing in mirror image. This time, John's going to dive toward the ground and do it backwards. He'll push toward the ground. He'll go up to 45, roll Rolls it over with point rolls, stopping it back, half roll with 90 degree stops, the nose falls through the horizon again, and there you have the review, reverse, Cuban 8, let's put your hands together for John Moore. He's going to square it off, hands it upside down, quick on the stick, gets 
I've given Rich Gibson a run for his money, but you've seen it here. Now watch as John works the airplane into a slip and flies the fuselage just 10 feet above the ground and slowly works the power off. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Look at this. Look how low he goes. Keep your eye on the tail wheel. Keep your eye on the left wing. Keep your eye on the ground. You're about to hit it. Oh! Experimental Aircraft Association fly-in at Oshkosh each year, and uh, he's also a winner of the Art Scholl Memorial Showmanship Award that's given at the International Council of Air Shows convention in December of each year in Las Vegas, Nevada, and I hope you will join me in a huge round of applause for Mr. John Moore. Lots more coming here. Now watch as John gets ready to land. He's going to roll it upside down. He's going to say, okay, I got the runway in sight now, because he couldn't see it if he was landing, I couldn't see it over the nose. So he'll say, okay, I see where the runway is. He'll bring it down. Now, is he ready to land? I don't think so. Up he goes with a snap and roll to 55 or 60 feet above the ground. Cross control brings her right down, and watch him as he touches down almost perfectly sideways. Now straightens it up, puts it down on one wheel at a time. And, and then, then sets it, it down. down. That's, That's the, the guy. guy. Oh. He has.